Hello and welcome to the Terran Space Academy. This is a space brief. I want to thank those of you who recently signed up to support us on Patreon. We appreciate you. Many of you commented that the Space Shuttle Columbia was brought down by a damaged or missing ceramic heat tile. That is not entirely accurate. Columbia was brought down when one of these, a carbon-carbon leading-edge insert, was struck by a frozen piece of foam falling from the insulated hydrogen tank. This punctured a hole in the leading edge and allowed plasma to enter the wing. Acting like a blowtorch, it rapidly cut through the wing, destroying the ship. I happened to be out jogging in Texas that day and saw it come down, a sad sight that I will not soon forget. Also, I asked if you thought that the booster failed because 1. Engine failure caused a spin, or 2. The spin caused the engine failure. If the engines were lit asymmetrically, that could cause the ship to spin, or if the ship was spinning when the engines tried to relight, that could push the propellant to the sides and cause an engine failure. As we look here, we can see that the spin started before the engines tried to light. This answers our question. The engines could not have failed and caused the spin. We also see that the booster is going faster than planned. Now the Falcon 9 booster comes down at an angle to provide more surface area to airflow. It is possible that the Super Heavy booster could not maintain that angle. So it was going too fast at this point. But these grid fins can operate at hypersonic velocities. So I'm not sure what went wrong. It's in the subsonic supersonic transition zone. It is possible that a grid fin malfunctioned like when this Falcon 9 booster had to land offshore, which is the closest parallel I've seen. That would be my first guess. But I've heard others say that SpaceX used Falcon 9 software not adapted for the larger booster. I find that very unlikely. I'm sure there was a lot of simulation testing before the software was loaded. And finally, I had said that the U.S. Space Shuttle recovered its boosters, while the Soviet Energia system discarded theirs. I was wrong. These four kerosene and liquid oxygen boosters were recovered by parachute and airbag and reused. Thanks for pointing that out. We always appreciate your feedback and your support. Stay connected, and thanks for listening. At Astro Proterra.